Hello everyone. In the previous video, we explored how to create an AI agent and connect it using MCP. In this video, I want to take a step back and dive deeper into MCP itself. What is MCP, why it matters and the architecture behind it. Before MCP, integrating AI into application was messy. Each system needs its own connector, that is its own logic, like using a bunch of tangled wires and adapters just to get things working. It slowed down development and made scaling hard. After MCP, it's like plugging into a USB-C port into one unified standard connection. Now, AA can seamlessly connect to tools, databases and services in clean, efficient and scalable way. MCP stands for Model Context Protocol. It's an open standard that defines how applications give context to LLMs. Think of it as a universal language that lets your app talk clearly to your AI, just like USB-C standardized connection to all your devices. With MCP, we avoid reinventing the wheel every time we connect a model to a new tool. It brings modularity, reusability and interoperability saving time and unlocking the full power of AI into your workflows. In short, it's a bridge between your AI and everything it needs to know. Here is how the MCP architecture work begins the scene. On your computer, you have a MCP client. This could be Cloud, an IDE or any AI powered tools. This client connects to MCP server using the MCP protocol. Each server is responsible for interfacing with a specific data source like a local databases, an API or even a remote service over the internet. In our demo, VS Code as MCP client and GitHub as MCP server. Now let's see how to connect VS Code to an MCP server in the action. First, download and install VS Studio Code. For that, go to their official website and then download for our Mac. So once it is successfully downloaded, and install it and open the VS Code. If GitHub Copilot is not already installed, log in to your GitHub account and it will activate automatically. For me, it's not installed because just now we installed, right? Then I'm giving the access to my GitHub account I am authorizing all the settings which is required to connect my copilot with the GitHub. Next, click on the explorer and open the folder or else create a new one. Here I am going to create a new folder. Once the folder has been created, next we need to create another folder that is .vs code. So under the .vs code, we need to place another file that is mcp.json. In this JSON, we are going to give all the MCP server details. In the chat window, we need to select the agent because the agent is going to communicate to the MCP server and pull the all the required tools. So as of now, there is no tools. Uh, once we connected, we will see necessary tools from the MCP server. Next, in two ways we can connect. One is Docker way, another is a NPM way. So I am going to the MCP server official website and then just copying that name of the GitHub MCP server and pasting it here. Then allow it. Then press enter. Next, we need to connect this MCP server with our GitHub. Go to GitHub. In the developer settings, you can create the API key. Click on the developer setting and then in the classic way, we need to generate an new API key. So give any name and then we need to give the repo permissions because what are the permissions we are, we are going to give only those things can be accessible from the VS code MCP server. Select required permission and create API key. So once it is created, copy the API key and then go to VS Code and paste it here. That's it. It's almost done. Next, we need to start the MCP server. As of now, there is no tool. For that, we need to start the MCP server. Next, you can see all the tools. Once the server has been started, in the chat window, you can see all the tools. See. Here we are getting all the required uh, permissions which are whatever we are given in the GitHub. We are seeing it. Now I am going to ask a question. 
connect to my github repo and pull how many repos are there just copying my repo details and then just giving a prompt uh, to uh, this chat so once it done press the enter now our copilot will bring all the repos whichever having in my repo give necessary permission before that so once the permission has been given it will pull all the repo details it displaying total uh, 11 repositories are there in my repo and also it's displaying what are the recent projects some old projects that is from 2017 to 2019 and a mix of different technologies that is i have included in my project like spring cassandra and a related projects so next i am going to ask another question how many commits are there in my rack demo next i got the answer as in rack demo repository there are four commits in total the initial commit was done on march 24th so it is reading the all the recent commits as well as my readme and what are the technologies are there in my repo everything is reading so that's the power of model context protocol a simple standardized way to supercharge your ai tools with the real world context whether you are pulling data from github a local database or a remote api mcp makes integration seamless thanks for watching and don't forget to like share and subscribe if you found this helpful thank you